Good morning. Today we are leaving this beautiful turquoise coastline and we are heading inland. Yes, we are. We're going to start going up towards Cappadocia. Woohoo! We're Marianne and Chris. In May 2018, we quit the nine to five, rented our house to travel full time. Due to the pandemic, our attempt to drive around the world has been put on pause. Finding ourselves in Turkey, we are going to show you the best this country has to offer. So the plan is today we are going to be leaving um, Sidé and we are going to be heading up towards Cappadocia, passing um, a couple of lakes on the way. We're not sure exactly where we're gonna to stop tonight, but we thought if we spend a couple of days heading up to Cappadocia, super excited um, to be exploring some new places and sharing that with you. So let's get Trudy ready. So we've just left the beach and it is so obvious how much salt and dust is on the windscreen and Trudy. It's always a good idea if you've spent a day or so by the beach to give your vehicle a good hose down because there's salt and sand in the air which is not good for your vehicle. So we're going to find a uh, garage where we can give her a quick power hose and uh, give her a good clean now we're leaving the coast. Alright, time to give Trudy a little bit of a clean. I've just noticed the bunting is sticking out of the door. There, there we go. Don't want to get the chicken bunting wet. Look how much dust there is on this. Can you see it? Oh, satisfying. So we're looking at this. So we've got Sue and Jet Kopuk. So we think Jet Kopuk is soap and Sue is water. So we also thought we would check how dirty the solar panel is while and, we're here. And the bonus of being very tall is I can stand on the chair and stick my head up. Let's have a look. Oh yeah, it needs a little bit of a, we'll give that a little bit of a brush now. Okay, Trudy is clean. Ooh, and so are we. I am sweaty, <laughs> like majorly sweaty. Let's hit the road and get that aircon on and those, all those Ooh. windows open, whichever is going to cool us down quickest. Ooh. We've been driving for about 20-25 minutes and already we've climbed up into the mountains and the terrain has just completely different. There's treed covered mountains as you look out the, uh, out the windows now. Definitely being spoiled with some breathtaking views on the drive this morning. Amazing! Valleys, trees, mountains. It's a really nice drive. Um, you just can't be hitting the nature trails and uh, just taking it, taking it all in. This road actually reminds me of Cheddar Gorge back in the UK where I grew up. It looks like the beginning of the gorge. It does. I think they're cutting trees. They just waved us to slow down and then waved us through again. That was a, wasn't much warning, was it? Hey? Suddenly somebody waving in the road. Yeah. You could see them on the hillside cutting trees. Look at this view. We spent 
spotted a little eatery by the side of the road on the opposite side. So we've U-turned and we're heading back to grab a little bite of lunch because the views look out of this world. Wow, look at this view. Is that not amazing? I don't know whether you can hear all the noise of the bugs it's echoing here. What do you reckon, love? You hear all the bugs up there? Yeah, I just said that. Oh, did you? Wow, it's just beautiful. I feel like Heidi, and I should yodel. <laughs> Hi, Hannah. Where do you want to sit there, in the shade? Uh, yeah, that would be beautiful. <laughs> Thank you, thank you very much. Is this not a great roadside cafe? Have you ever seen anything like this? Amazing. So we've ordered, what have we ordered? We've been original. We've got a couple of Gosleme. Yeah, and some tea. <laughs> because yeah. we're turning into a Gosleme. We love Gosleme. And uh, some tea. I think apple tea you ordered, right? No, just normal tea. Normal tea. Amazing, right? Beautiful. <laughs> How good is this? A nice Ooh. gosleme. Nice? Mm. Cheese, a bit of greens, yeah. bit of spinach, bit mint. of onion. Bit of mint. Oh, bit of mint. Mm. Delicious. I just love, I love gosleme. Mm. Mm. And they're all so different. They do all taste different, depending on what's in it. Yeah. The mint goes really well. It's really good. It's really good. We need to eat more mint. They do eat a lot of mint over here. And all topped off with a nice Turkish tea. Look at the colour. Mm. Cheers. But hold on, because I've just noticed. Oh, London. <laughs> That's so funny. It's in a London saucer. I think they did that specially for you, I maybe. I think they did. <laughs> We just love the way they've reused the plastic tubs as little flower pots and a little picket fence. Recycling at its best. It is, it's a lovely we little love spot. Recycling. Isn't it? Recycling, it's a lovely spot. And uh, there's netting for shade. It's all the attention to detail. Every little part of it has put thought into it. Yeah, it's a lovely little spot. And right by, right by the side of the main road. So lunch, two gosleme and tea was 35 Turkish Lira. So very often we don't drive with the aircon on. We have got it on today, it's making the van lovely and cool. But every time I stick the camera out to film for you guys, it lets all the hot air back in. <laughs> what, a, what views are we seeing today? It is, it's just these mountains are really, really nice. Um, we've, we're gonna do a little bit of research. We've heard um, that parts of Turkey have got bears, wolves, um, and uh, we're going to just check out and see what sort of uh, wildlife there is in different parts um, of Turkey because you never know, we may get lucky and be able to share some of it with you. Isn't this a nice place to stop off? Next to the main road here. There's, uh, there's a herd of cows and a shepherd down there and the views are just, I just love today. Look at this countryside up here in the mountains. We've got trucks that stop here because there is a water stop here so people fill up their uh, drinking bottles and stuff on the way with the fresh mountain water. We're going to probably drive for about another sort of half an hour, an hour and then uh, it will be about three o'clock so we'll park up for the night. 
drinking waters over here they got all this little mountain water you see these dotted along the road quite often so it's actually quite easy to find water on the road they have these little signs i reckon we are getting so much love i don't even know where to start <laughs> and there's lots of um youtube channels that are contacting us to say congratulations on getting so many subscribers and also wanting to start their own youtube channels yeah i can't believe how quickly our channel we've gone up like a thousand subscribers in a day and a half it's just mad um, but it's really really nice. I've just spotted there's a couple of lovely old ladies sat under the tree up there Oh, that's me one day that's, They're just sitting up in the trees there in the shade enjoying I think they've got the country air oh, Got a picnic? Really, yeah, it's a picnic Picnic? Yeah So how nice is that, that the herd of cows has just walked past Trudy here by the side of the road. Nature at its best. Lovely. Mahaba. And they've got the, uh, the, the dogs, Karabash behind. They've got four dogs there to protect the herd. How nice is this? We're on this little harbour. It's like this uh, little jetty that goes out on this lake here. And there's these little picnic areas along. And uh, we asked the guy in the town, he said, you can park here. And we've got our own table. This is amazing. Uh, we're about an hour from Konya city. Um, I don't actually know the name of the town. What town are we in? I don't know. Donde es la phone? La phone es aquí. Okay, let's see. What town are we in? We are by Bechehir. Oh, it says it on the side of the picnic things. Here. Bechehir. We parked up and saw a lovely little food truck just at the entrance of this uh, jetty and you know how we like the food trucks like the one in Calcan so uh, we thought we'd go and see what he's got how can you not love a food truck because it's mid-afternoon and the old goslemmy's been burnt off long ago hours ago hours ago it's actually a little bit cooler up here i would say i would say it's cooler it doesn't feel so intense yeah definitely we've come come up quite a couple of hours we've been driving two three hours north yep and it feels definitely feels a little bit cooler and time to stop and have a rest there you go absolutely a groovy little place got the pink bus they have a did you egg mix yes bread um what is that it's always fun trying to differ to, to work out the menu when you don't speak the language sausage Okay. okay so we asked the guys that were here just now about the rules of wearing masks here apparently if you're out like this eating or just walking around generally you don't have to wear a mask but if you were in a busy park or you're going inside shopping or supermarkets then you do have to wear a mask another reason to sit outside and eat there you go and i am loving the pink van they have these food trucks uh, dotted all over by the sides of the road and uh, they all serve slightly different things and uh, they're just delicious good honest street food the guy said we can come and have a little look a little look inside where's the door oh this way oh here amazing Oh, nice. It's good. 
Good. It's got a little cooker, little cooker area here. Yeah. Making, I've ordered like a spicy sausage sandwich. Marianne's having a chicken one. Really nice. It's a proper kitchen, good fridge. And nicely, uh, all wooden ceilings. Ah, Tesha Kodi did them. Maybe that's a way we could make money on the road. Only if we could start cooking. selling koftas. Only if you're cooking. <laughs> oh, love the car. Look at this car. It's got a roof. Yeah, nice. And a, a snooker ball is the gear stick. Lada was Russia. Russia. Lada. Lada. So we get a nice big sausage sandwich. How good does that look? And some iron, which is like the yogurt milk drink. Yeah. The national drink. Actually, we had that in Istanbul the we first did. time with, with our student friends from the uni. Lovely. So being by the lake, obviously mosquitoes is an issue. But I don't know whether you can see behind me, we're about to get smoked out and there is no escape. Because what happens is this truck goes around town and sprays and kills the mosquitoes. And it's coming right about now. And it really smells. Ugh. You just hold your breath, it's not that bad. <laughs> now there's no mosquitoes! Yeah! And these guys came to see us today. Uh, they, they've they been following us, they saw us on Instagram and YouTube and they came down to say hi. And they wanted to make sure, did we have everything? Did we need anything? So lovely. What a great place to wake up to. And we've got our own little seating area. All right, coffee time. <laughs> Beautiful. Cheers, my loveliness. Good morning. Chin chin. The water is amazingly clear. I did actually, oh, I can see fish. I can see fish. Wow. The guys last night said there were lots of fish and he is not wrong. No, it was a bit wavier yesterday, I think windier, so you couldn't see how clear it is, but it's crystal clear. So we had a fab night sleep last night. It was so much cooler, wasn't it? Mm, it's been lovely. Actually, we woke up this morning for the first time in probably a month we were under the duvet cover. There's the heron. Oh yeah, amazing. So yeah, it was, it's definitely much cooler here at night. Mm. Um, probably five, ten degrees cooler. Yeah, it's the first time. I slept time, like a baby. Yeah, it's the first time I've actually got under the duvet. I've been sleeping on top of the duvet or next to the duvet, but I actually put my legs under it last night. Yeah, it was lovely. nice. And we only had two fans instead of five. <laughs> yeah. There is actually, um, it's probably very hard to pick up on the camera, but there is actually a little island um, with rocks coming out and the sun was setting literally right behind there which was which was amazing chris can see a snake there's a snake is it in the water oh yeah i can see it oh there's one underneath as well i didn't see that big one see there's two of them because one's underwater oh i'm never going in a lake again That was absolutely amazing. Um, what you see when you sit and just look at nature, there was two snakes uh, in the water. They've, they've swum down now. Um, so I'm hoping they come up for a bit of air in a minute. Makes you think going swimming in the lake. We actually saw people swimming in the lake just here um, last night and really early this morning. 
We're probably not on their menu. We're not on their menu. I actually, a lot of people are scared of snakes. I'm scared of the potential of being bitten, but I actually really do like snakes. We're off. <laughs> right, we're off. We're heading east. So uh, let's go and see what today holds. Just come over the brow of the hill and you can see Konya and it's a huge city. So as we're passing through Konya we've stopped up at a shopping centre Media Mart uh, which is a big computer store here. We've bought a couple of SD cards and uh, we've just been contacted uh, by a couple of uh, friends that we met in Antalya who are up here and have invited us for lunch. We've met up with some uh, of our Turkish friends and we're in a restaurant called Gemmo and uh, we're trying some lovely local dishes. A lot of you have been saying, show us some more Turkish food. So it's coming. And apparently this is one of the best restaurants here. Sorry. There you go. So what have we got? We've got... I've got roasted lamb soup. Oh wow, that looks nice. And it smells some delicious. Some different herbs and some salad, some Ooh. bread. Okra bean soup. Ooh. Amazing. Ooh, delicious. And obviously good company. Oh, thank you. Uh, <laughs> thank you. Thank, welcome in Turkey. Welcome, welcome to, to Turkey. Turkey. So this is like a roasted lamb soup. Oh, it smells delicious. Oh, that's really good. So this is Iran. This is made of like yogurt, isn't it? It's made from yogurt. And it's the national drink, I heard. It, well, it is claimed to be national drink, non-alcoholic drink. Ekli Ekmet. Ah, Ekli Ekmet. Perfect. So we have this wonderful looking bread with meat on top, served with these lovely chili pointed peppers. Delicious. So the guy said that as you eat the chili, it gets more spicy as you go down. I always thought it was the other way around. But I'm very pleased that Marianne didn't let me eat in the shopping center when I was going, I'm so hungry, because this looks delicious. It's so, look at that, it's like wafer thin. Yeah. Mmm, it's crunchy. That is delicious. Oh, you roll it up? Yes. Roll it up. Okay. So you're supposed to roll it up. Traditionally eaten, rolled up. And if you're really clever, you can put your pointed pepper inside. Really nice lunch and it was so nice to catch up with those guys. Thanks very much for inviting us for lunch. It was absolutely delicious. We are now heading out of Konya towards Cappadocia, um, probably for uh, about another hour's drive, and then we'll find somewhere to park up for the night. So as we're driving along, almost like the prairies, the flatlands, We've come across these lovely long fields of sunflowers. So we've found this little spot off the main road in the back of a little mosque, there's like this pond. Well, it's a bit deep down there, isn't it? That must be man-made, surely. So yeah, I think this will do for tonight. There's this bit of, I suppose it's like a little park. They've got these little picnic things in this little village.
and then we've got another couple of hours probably to cap a dock here tomorrow but it's a good place to stop for the night good morning so we have woken up uh in this little village called obruk we had a good night's sleep it was lovely and quiet here there was the very early morning call to prayer from the mosque that you can see behind us um and it's an interesting place because let me show you we looked at obruk online and it actually means sinkhole and this area here there is actually a sinkhole it's a uh, it's a natural sinkhole apparently the water changes color throughout the year maybe due to the algae and uh, the sides are so steep um, you wouldn't want to get too close to that if you fell in that there's not a chance you would ever get out um, but what an amazing thing to think it's just a natural sinkhole so we're just leaving and we came across this amazing structure here it's actually an old building where they used to um, have all the cattle and goats it was a safe place for the shepherds to come and uh, they're actually restoring it and it's going to be amazing when they finished there were camels too it's a, ca a caravan so it's where the safe place was for all the animals and livestock from bears apparently they've got yeah, bears, bears here and wolves here that's why they have the kangol dog which is famous for guarding and protecting livestock amazing it's hotting up here it is really hotting up aircon's coming on aircon's coming on now So we've just stopped for petrol and the garage attendant called Marianne <laughs> is just cleaning the windscreen. Actually, it's really good because they have these buckets of water and these brushes that you can just use to, uh, to clean your windscreen. Good service. The town we are heading to is a town called Gorem, Gorim, Gorim. There you go. And uh, we're heading, actually heading to a campsite. But the reason we're heading to a campsite, not only do we need to do all our washing and catch up with uh, bits and pieces like that, um, it's also Chalal, who was the guy in the car park in Istanbul, who really looked after us who is our brother from another mother it's actually his friend who owns the campsite um, so they've invited us down so we thought we would go and see them whilst we're visiting uh, Cappadocia and it will help us because we'll be able to have somebody local that can show us some really good tips and places to visit absolutely so, yeah. and I think they have a pool they do which when it's this hot is always lovely a lovely thought <laughs> So interesting to see the change of landscape and uh, as we're heading north it's become almost like prairie lands very flat and uh, the roads just seem to go on and on and on yeah I'm amazed at how much farming the center of Turkey is obviously the place for all the crops and farming we've seen so many different crops and all this straw and hay as well it's just fantastic Wow, look at this. We'll be coming back here. Wow. Fabulous. We have arrived at the Gorim Caravan and Camping Park and there's an actual 
aqua park just next door with swimming pools so as soon as we finish working we are going to jump in there but how close are we to the Cappadocia famous sites of these hills Trudy's just in the background over there there's electric and bins Chris is knocking up something that smells very delicious what are you cooking love chicken and veg chicken and veg chicken with fried lots of different grilled peppers veg. and grilled veg Ooh, couscous. Yummy. and couscous that's why i married him and we're going to show you cappadocia on the next episode it's always oh just pull out <laughs> Come on, just go, go, go. good morning actually my lens is so dirty look this. at that Yes, Cut that one. Right, we're off to Cappadocia. Woohoo! And we caught Marianne eating crisps for breakfast. <laughs> Don't tell anyone. <laughs> Shh. <laughs> oh, you're still there. What are you doing? It's washing day. It's time for me to get on with my chores. But if you don't want to miss the next episode, make sure you click that subscribe button and click the notification bell. Bye.